In this video, I'm going to show you how to censor or pixelate moving faces inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see, we've got this footage on our timeline. It's nothing special, it's just me in front of camera. And what we're going to do to begin this process is we'll first go into our project bin. So we're going to here. Then we go new item. So you can either press this new item button or you can double click slash right click on your keyboard and then go new item and adjustment layer. Then we can just press OK on this adjustment layer and we'll drag this onto video layer two and make sure your footage is on the layer below. Now, if you've got multiple clips, then again, just make sure the adjustment layer is sitting above all of the footage that you want to amend. Now, what we're going to do is we'll go into effects and we're going to search for mosaic. And that should be under stylized. Now, there are some presets, mosaic in, mosaic out. These are transition presets. So don't use these ones. Use the stylized mosaic preset. And we'll drop that onto our adjustment layer. And as you can see, that's turned off footage, pixelated. So we're going to go into effect controls, mosaic, and we're going to increase the number on the horizontal and vertical blocks. So we'll pull this up to 30 to begin with. So we'll go 30, 30. And that looks about right. You can take that a bit higher though if you want. So you can go 50. 50 and that looks fine again but for now we're just going to turn that off so we'll turn mosaic off then we'll go into opacity we'll select the create ellipse mask tool and then we're just going to move this mask that is now sitting over our face so something like this and feel free if you're struggling to get this nice and precise feel free to select fit and zoom into the screen now as you can see at the moment this looks a bit blurry so i'm just going to go into settings pause resolution and select full and that should sharpen up so go ahead and make your adjustments here make sure that he's perfectly around the face just leave a little bit of room on each side and then we'll go ahead and create a new keyframe on mask path now i'm just going to pull that to the very beginning and i'll move that mask to follow the face go in between those two points move that across move forward and then basically just keep working through your entire footage, just following the person moving and make sure that this circle mask is following them at all times. If ever they drift out when you play this back, just go ahead and update the mask so that it follows. So as you can see here, it's not quite perfect. So we'll nudge that over. We'll just skim through again. Here I think needs a little bit of work. It's starting to drift a bit. So we'll move that across. We'll move that across there. Because we've selected the toggle animation button over here, every time we make an adjustment, it's going to add a new keyframe in this animation, meaning it's going to follow this along at all times, providing that we're updating the keyframes. There you go. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and turn the mosaic plugin back on and we'll play this back. And as you can see, that person is now pixelated and censored. Of course, at the moment, though, we can see this harsh circle around the outside. So we're going to go into mask one, mask feather, and we'll increase the mask feathering up to around 100 pixels or so. And we'll play this back and that looks much better. So we'll zoom out, play this back, and there you go. You've now successfully pixelated or censored your subject in your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really quick, really easy. And all you have to do to change the style of this is just go into mosaic and increase or decrease the horizontal blocks to make this more or less pixelated. It's completely up to you, but there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.